Ever since its release, the Quest 3 has been making waves in the mixed reality space, and recently we had the chance to experience Astra. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is Natalie Vita. It is February 2nd, 1993. <clears throat> this is a message for future worlds and faraway beings. Maybe you are one of them. We search for life in lands near and far. Beyond Earth, up there in the heavens, await alien worlds. I've traveled the universe through the eyes of our telescopes, observed distant stars, planets, and moons without ever touching them. But one day, we won't just stare at these places from afar and wonder. One day we will walk on other worlds. As it's described on the Metastore page, in this one players will embark on a mixed reality journey that transforms their room into a spaceship for a mission to the deepest corners of the cosmos. Following the research of your late astrobiologist mother, you're traveling in space and visiting planets and their dark moons in the search for life. You'll try to uncover the mysteries of life in the universe and make sense of your loss and grief all at the same time. Hi, I'm Nori, your non-organic robotic intelligence. I'll show you how everything works. Follow me. Navigate the solar system by selecting your destination on the control panel. While there is some gamification to this experience, it's pretty basic and seems more like something that was added in to keep players engaged in the narrative that's teaching them about these various elements that we've found to be present on some of the more significant moons in our solar system. The gameplay aspect presents itself as a sequence of beaming down to the surfaces of these moons to collect elements that you bring back to the ship for analysis. All of this collection is done in the pursuit of finding that right combination of elements that would come together to support life, but other than scanning and collecting or tapping on various virtual control panel screens to select the next destination or learn about another element, that's about as interactive as this experience is going to get. July 13, 2006. Field notes. Saturn's largest moon. Subject. Titan. One hundred and fifty moons are found in our solar system, but this alien world most closely resembles Earth. Continue your search for the key ingredients of life hidden on this moon. While gameplay is not its strong suit, Astra's graphics, however, are top-notch, creating an immersive experience that draws players into a sense of inhabiting these alien worlds. The visuals presented in the game's full VR sequences are stunning, each one featuring detailed environments that showcase these moon's surfaces. In addition to the exploration, there's Astra's mixed reality sequences, which also look fantastic. 
Between each mission, players return to the bridge of their starship, and once there, they're presented with overlays of view screens and windows that peer out into space, coupled with good use of 3D models and clear and bright graphics that pop against the real-world backdrop that the player is now seeing through the color pass-through of the Quest 3. I mean, seeing the rings of Saturn through the view screen that was now part of my main living room wall was breathtaking, and when leaving for a new destination, the graphics were realistic enough to make me think that my living room had just gone to warp, which caused an actual physical sensation where for a split second I felt as if my floor was moving with the turning of the ship and that sense of acceleration while going to warp actually made me slightly weak in the knees. August 23rd, 1998. Field notes. Subject. Europa. Hidden beneath its icy crust, Europa is an ocean world. In the search for life, we follow the water. The sound design in Astra is equally impressive, with rich and immersive audio that enhances the overall experience and helps to deepen the immersion. The relaxing ambient music and believable sound effects blend nicely with the unfolding narrative being voiced by Grammy-nominated singer and actress Taylor Page, who's best known for her roles in films like Zola or The Toxic Avenger. Overall, the visual and audio design of the experience come together nicely to give players a well-presented and great-looking way to explore parts of our solar system and maybe even learn something new right from their own living rooms. Now, one thing that comes to mind while listening to the narrative in Astra is the potential that mixed and virtual reality experiences like this one have for education. Being able to be an active participant in something like this leaves a lasting impression and has the ability to perform memories in ways that reading from a static page just can't. It's exhilarating to think that this is one way students in the not-so-distant future might consume information and gain knowledge. So overall, we feel Astra is a standout mixed reality experience that showcases the power of the medium on the Quest 3. Through its engaging narrative, stunning graphics and sound, comfortable design, and potential for education, Astra sets a new standard for mixed reality experiences. So whether you're a seasoned VR enthusiast or new to the worlds of mixed and virtual reality, we feel that Astra is a must play experience. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the article covering Astra on uploadvr.com. And as always, please consider becoming a member to support our work directly.